okay guys if you are familiar with the construction of steel building like this one okay you must have an idea about the use of roof bracing okay or the plan bracing here you can see this is the roof bracing we have used at the end of this building okay now why this roof bracing are used or you can say uh, how this roof bracing actually works okay that is the topic of today's video so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so before understanding about the action of plan bracing let's have a recap about the steel structure and its basic component okay so just consider uh, this very basic steel structure and here you can see that this is the foundation okay or the ground level and this is the column very basic things and these are known as the reactors okay sometimes these reactors may be uh, used in the form of i section or sometime it may be in the form of a roof truss okay it depends on the load okay and these are known as the power lines what is the function of this power lines actually after installing all these power lines you install your roof sheeting okay so to install the roof sheeting you need to use this power lines and these power lines are actually rested over these raptors okay so and finally here you can see these are the bracing which is the topic of this video and now let's have a look in real life how this members actually looks like okay so if you are a beginner in that case it will be very helpful for you so here you can see this is the ground and foundation and this is the column and of course this is the raptor okay and here you can see that this raptor is nothing but an i section okay and above this raptor we have installed our parlin these are the parlins okay and the parlin installation almost has been completed now it's time to install the sheeting rope sheeting over this parlin okay so you have got the basic idea and now how the load is actually coming of course the loading over the setting is coming to the parlin first okay so because the settings are actually installed over this parlin so the loading from setting is coming to the parlin first then from this parlin they are coming to the raptor okay so if this is the parlins they are actually rested over this raptors and your setting is there so the reaction that is coming from this parlin is actually acting as load over this raptor okay and to design this raptor what you have to do you have to consider the load coming from this parlins okay based on that you will get some shear force and bending moment that is very typical i am not going to discuss about that and based on that shear force and bending moment you actually design this adapter in the form of either i section or some roof truss okay so let's say in this case we have considered the i section as our raptor okay and now you can see that these loads this vertical loads or this gravity loads are actually being applied along this minor axis okay and you know that the load carrying capacity of i section is maximum okay about this major axis correct but it is very much weak when we apply load about this minor axis okay so to carry the gravity load it is perfect for the i section okay but what about the lateral load that is coming in the form of earthquake or some notional load these are actually being applied laterally about the minor axis of this raptor okay so in this case just consider these raptors okay so the notional lateral loads are actually being applied like this correct these are the lateral load and you can see that all these lateral loads are being actually applied about the minor axis of the i section okay 
and the gravity load was being applied along this axis and it was creating bending moment above the major axis so it was perfect but now the load is being applied like this and it is creating the bending moment about the minor axis and you know that i section is weak about its minor axis so to carry all this lateral load either you need to use a heavy heavy i section or the second option is you can simply bypass this lateral load directly to the column directly from this point to any of the column directly from this point this point to any of the column and how you can do that yes we can do that by the use of bracings that is the function of bracing we are simply directing any lateral load here directly to the column okay we are not giving any stress to the raptor or to the eye section due to lateral load the lateral load will be completely taken care of by the bracings and the column itself okay now let's see how it can be done so very first initially this was the column and this was the column we have considered this raptor and this raptor and in this side also there is raptor as well as column but we are not taking that okay so initially this was the parlin point this is one parlin this is another parlin this is another parlin which are being rested over this raptor okay and let's say there are some notional load acting here notional load acting here too and maybe some load is acting here okay and they are directly affecting the raptor or you can say they are trying to bend this raptor about its minor axis okay so now what we have done we have provided bracings this is one bracing this is another bracing this is another bracing like that we have provided the bracing networks okay now let's say we are applying the lateral load here maybe due to earthquake so what is going to happen now this load is not going to affect this raptor anymore because it will directly go to this column through this bracing because this is the shortest path correct so this lateral load is going to travel to this column directly through this bracing okay now let's say what about this point okay so let's say we are applying a lateral load like this through this parlin due to earthquake and now this lateral load is actually going to travel through this bracing to this point then from this point to this column okay so finally here you can see that we have shipped this lateral load directly to this column without affecting any uh, raptor correct so this is the function of plan bracing or root bracing we are actually trying to save our eye section from minor axis bending that's it okay so now let's look into this structure this is the simple diagram now let's say we have applied notional load like this okay so now these raptors are going to be unaffected because this lateral load is coming to this point through the purling then from this point to this point to the purling then finally it's going to travel through this bracing to the column and finally as you can see here this column and this foundation has been connected through bracing so this lateral load is going to travel to this foundation through this bracing vertical bracing now let's consider about this load just like that it is coming through this purling to this point then through this purling to this point now it's going to directly travel through this bracing to this point then finally going to the foundation got it so that's it that's all about the plan bracing and its function if you like this video don't forget to share it